Prince Harry reportedly has no regrets about the headline-making revelations he shared with the world in his debut memoir titled Spare. Spare sold more than 3.2 million copies worldwide in its first week and was crowned the fastest-selling non-fiction book of all time, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. And the Duke, 38, was said to be in good form when attending Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi's surprise wedding vow renewal ceremony last week. Harry said he was really happy about the success of the book and the reaction to it, one guest at the party said. Speaking to Page Six, the guest said the royal was delighted at the success of the book. He said he had no regrets about any of the revelations, and he's relieved to have got his story out into the world, they continued. There's been an amazing reaction to it, he said. Among the numerous revelations spilled by Harry in the book was the story of him losing his virginity to an older lady in a field. That woman, Sasha Walpole, has now identified herself and is disappointed that Harry decided to disclose the story without telling her. Follow the Mirror US news page on Facebook all the latest news, showbiz, lifestyle and sports updates. Brought to you by our dedicated American team. Follow the Mirror US news page on Facebook to make sure you're not missing out. Speaking to Piers Morgan on Talk TV, Walpole said that Harry could have given her a heads up before retelling the intimate tale and said she felt compelled to come forward because otherwise speculation would never stop over the incident. She said, People are asking, family and friends. We know who it is, and then suddenly it's just a reality of this isn't going to go away. Forever this is going to flare up. Until they know who it is, they're going to be questioning people. Sasha had been just two years older than Harry at the time when she had invited him then a 17-year-old Eton schoolboy, to celebrate her 19th birthday at the pub. She said that they had had a two-and-a-half-year friendship prior to then, but never spoke again after their field tryst. Despite feverish press coverage since Harry's book release, much of it negative, the couple seemed to be in extremely good spirits, at the DeGeneres ceremony, the source told Page Six. However, the insider refused to answer questions as to whether the couple will attend the coronation of King Charles III in May. The King reportedly wants Harry and Meghan to attend the ceremony, but it is not clear whether a decision has been made by the pair. Charles had to suffer an awkward moment when greeting crowds at the University of East London on Wednesday when a man asked if the monarch could bring Harry back to the UK. Bring back Harry please, can you please bring him back please, sir? The man shouted. The king appeared to not hear who the man was referring to at first, asking him, who? The man replied, Harry, your son to which Charles nervously replied, it would be nice, before quickly moving on.